Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Truck Driver here on Cody4168. Uh, this episode, uh, video I should say, not episode, but this video we'll be actually doing two different runs. Um, we'll be doing one with Charlie Dover, which we're at now. We're going to be doing uh, one run with him, and then we're also going to go ahead and do another run with the uh, construction guy. So this will actually be our third run. Um, we could do it a two for one, but I figure just, you know, short distance cargo drive would just be just fine uh, for this video. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go do the construction guy. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, so Andrea, Andrea did something, I don't know. I have no idea. But anyways, hope you guys enjoying the episode so far. Hopefully, um, it's good enough to where you guys want to keep on coming and watching some more I would do plan on posting some more videos throughout the week if I can and um, remember if you guys do enjoy the videos make sure you give it a big like and subscribe if you want to see some more but this shouldn't be too bad it should be a routine short trip nothing too complicated and then hopefully there will be no issues So we are going to a new new town uh, for this delivery. I'm not even going to pronounce the name. Not at all. <laughs> so, but uh, the other thing I like about this game is I like how well it translations from day to night. Uh, everything is so smoothly. It doesn't have no really big glitches or anything. Uh, the traffic though sucks. I have to admit that. The AI traffic in this game isn't the greatest, greatest but um it is where it is and then the whole speed limit thing i don't understand the whole speed limit obviously with this being overseas um it isn't miles per hour it's uh kilometers per hour um so obviously uh if it says 30 you know I mean, well it's pretty much let's say i see i know i see 30 and i see 50 but they do have speed traps in this game, so you have to be careful. I uh, noticed a couple on the bridges there. There was a couple speed traps, but I don't see very. I don't see any police cars in this game or anything, which kind of sucks. That it's more realistic if you have police. It would be more realistic if you have like another like truck company that you're like competing against or uh, just driving around. There'll be more trucks, but as of it now you're the only truck driver in this city so it makes sense to why you're going in he's letting me go so i appreciate that thank you give it a little honk honking the horn but <clears throat> overall i am enjoying this game uh it's, it's not exactly what i thought it was going to be but it's pretty much what i always wanted it was just a truck simulator game and it, it does that so and then what's nice is that once you build some more money you can customize your truck you buy new trucks which is very cool and then you can upgrade it and i completely missed the tip i was driving too fast so don't mind me don't mind me just gonna just gonna make this turn right here and then be all set <laughs> But um, I, I guess I am still playing, uh, playing some of this off camera. So far, I haven't really played it off camera that much re uh, recently, um, just because I want to still like enjoy the game and then also uh, bring out some contact. So it'd be nice to watch these videos as I progress. 
and we're all the way to our first stop. So yeah, it's not not that long of a drive at all. I mean, it's seriously like right here. So with that being said, it's a good idea for me to go ahead and do two trips in this video. This should be pretty easy to park this trailer. Just the guy just pretty much straight it up and then back it up and then we can go ahead and go to the uh, construction guy and do a uh, it'd be our second run with him. This is our third run. This is our third run for Charlie Dover and then for the construction guy it'll be our second run. So. We can head over that way and see what he has in store for us. Light bar. Ooh. Fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. I do want to get a different truck though, eventually. I do want to get something a little bit nicer than this, but I'm in no rush. I mean, we only have like 6000 to work with anyway, so. The cheapest truck I think is like 12,000, 18,000 I think or something like that. I'm not even sure. So, but uh, we're right down the road from. Ain't we a permit for me? For me? For me? For me? I. Whatever. And that's another thing too. I noticed that we have there's like one street light in this game, that I've seen so far. There's one street light on a highway which makes no sense at all. And everything else is like yield signs. It's not even stop signs. So, but I think there's some stop signs, but most of it's just yield. So that's that's kind of like, eh. I'm so used to how America is. You got stop signs, you got freaking traffic lights. And we do have yield signs, but not like all over the place. It's just in certain areas. Like in the side roads for like the little towns and villages, but nothing like on a major highway or a major city. So it's not really much of yield signs. But um, I don't know why I'm going so slow here. Anyways, so we'll see what he wants us to do in this time. I don't, I think, well, something's going on with my truck or what? I don't know why I do half the stuff I do. With. I really don't. I, I do it and I think to myself, like, what the hell am I doing? It's like, what am I doing? Fragile. Okay, so we are doing some fragile cargo. Up ahead. So yeah, we're definitely going to do this run here. So this will be the second run of the day, um, and then we can go ahead and end the video. But like I said, this is nice though because it's during the nighttime, so you'll be able to see the difference between the daytime uh, deliveries and the nighttime deliveries, which is pretty cool. In my perspective, in a ways, but, and then I know technically, you know, when you have to be in the in the in the yard or making deliveries or dropping off, you should have your four ways on. But you know, I always freaking forget to do that. So, oh well. All right, once we get this truck loaded up, attached. It should be attached now, and then we'll go ahead and see where exactly we are going. So it'd be up north. That's a little little drive, little drive. We got new. All right. So it is. One thirty. I think it's like one thirty in the morning. So, by the time I, we get there, the, sh the sun should be coming up. So, 
Maybe it shouldn't be too bad. So I got some night some night delivery that obviously we did the last run we did it at night time too, so I I guess it really doesn't matter. There's no time limit I guess for I mean some packages there's a time limit. Yeah, I'd be in certain places at a certain time. But I guess for the most part there isn't no like uh time specific spot you have to be at or anything, so it's just nice. You can actually just take your time if you want or you can just be like mad out of hell. Just gotta be careful to watch out for the speed cameras, of course. Alright, so we I think we should be almost there, honestly. Should be that long, and... <sighs> almost had an accident. Almost. I haven't had an accident yet in this game, so I'm hoping that still stays that way. Can't make any promises, dog. You can never promise a simulation game, because you know how AI is. AI is the most stupidest speaking. Individuals... You can never like it, you know. Trust me. I have people stay on the brakes in this game. Uh, like I was coming up, and it was coming to an intersection, and a car stopped out of nowhere. Thankfully, I did have enough time to stop. But you gotta be careful when it comes to this game. You like other people's driving, so you can't be going like you know 80 miles an hour, 80 km, you know, 80 miles an hour or whatever. Whatever you want to say. You can't be driving real fast and then have to slam on your brakes because you're not going to have time to stop. And this is like the only red light I, I see. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, once we get to the other areas of the map, I'm pretty sure there'll be probably more red lights, but... It's just... Uh, it's very basic. And this, this game is very basic, so it's not like, you know, top-notch. You know, truck simulator game, but you think that it would be a little bit more, you know, realistic in a way. But with the company, you know, it's, it's a not known company, so it's a it's a any sick company, and probably doesn't know doesn't have the money funds available to make a very top notch game. I'm happy with it. I'm I'm satisfied with it. I'm content with it. It, it serves its purpose, and I'm happy. So, but if you guys remember, guys, if you guys are just enjoying this series, if you want to see some more videos, like, like I said before, and I'll continue to say it, make sure you hit the like button because it knows 
it helps me know that you guys are interested in watching more videos and it also helps me know that it's interesting not just for me but also for you guys as well so and we have reached our uh, stop pretty much so we are heading to the harbor but driving into the little town you can definitely tell that it's not like like graphic wise it's it's decent but it's not the top notch but it's alright and then we here the cowboy hat I think it's a cowboy hat but that's gonna be another person that we can do a job for unfortunately we can't do it now because I don't think it I think it has to be lit up first before we can start doing jobs for other people I'm not sure how that could work maybe we'll check that out but you, you see the mountains like, there's nothing to like the the scenery and the nature of this game with the sun and the water and the mountains it's very nice especially when the sun rises over the peak of the mountains and it's overlooking the truck it looks very nice like the colors of this game is very nice I, en I enjoy it very well yeah this one will probably I'll go back in and And uh, like I said, once I get more driving, I'll, I'll do more things in the first person instead of a third person view. But I really, it really doesn't really matter to me which one. To, if you guys prefer, make sure to leave a comment below. What do you guys prefer uh, watching the video? And do you prefer me driving in the first person, or do you prefer me driving third? Or it really doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't matter, honestly. But I have noticed though, when you are driving on the highway or the road in third person, it is a little bit harder to stay on your side of the road. You see me drifting on one side and saying, I swear officer, I'm not drunk, okay? Or I'm not, I'm definitely not overtired. But I have gotten, I have gotten warnings in this game about my, me being drowsy because I haven't, you know, got my, um, uh, not health bar, but my um, seminar bar, or whatever. I'm um, heavily getting low, and I needed to rest. I needed to sleep. I haven't seen it get low to the point where it's warning me that I would get drowsy. But with that being said, I am probably going to go ahead and rest up. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.